here we are in Georgetown, step one complete of my trip to Kaita Falls. Uh, managed to get my Kaita National Parks permit. Um, managed to also talk to a guy down uh, in Mardia where I'm heading today. Eight hour bus journey away into primary rainforest. But apparently has a boat. 70% Brazilian dollars is a lot of money. 70% of the entire world being up, but they have no source here. Taking all this, depend on you of getting these diamonds. Those diamonds. Okay, sweet. <laughs> everyone, everyone believes you, Charles. Everyone believes you. <laughs> Alright, six more hours of this, so here we go. Yeah, I think if there was any chance to go, we can have a part of gold. Okay, so gold is good too? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we gotta do the gold is fine. Okay. Diamonds are better, right? Okay, diamonds are better. Alright, sweet. Alright, that's what we do here in Guyana. <laughs> Okay, so uh, stage one of uh, the trip to Kaita, this is near Alaco Falls, right? Alaco. So we're in uh, Soldier's uh, small aluminium boat and uh, David's driving. pretty bloody awesome. Uh, made it to literally just the top of the first cataracts of waterfalls we've got to get over to get to Kaida Falls. This is Amatuk Falls, you might be able to hear the roar in the background. Um, but yeah, it's just the jungle is just so incredibly dense here. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. Just look at some of these crazy mountains that just like pop out of nowhere. I'm like, who knows who the hell last went up that mountain there. Unbelievable. On the way to Waratah Falls. Here I am um, at Two Kite Waterfalls, and this is the last stop on the boat journey. There's a big uh, Kaita Park uh, ranger station over here that I've spent the night at. Um, and now it's a two hour hike to Kaita Falls up along uh, the gorge. Uh, this is pretty damn remote, this place. I'm the first tourist to been through here in the last three weeks. Uh, but I'm glad I found
finally made it off to Kaida Falls next. So this is uh, Five Mats Waterfall just down the road from uh, Kaita Falls. It's so small that barely anyone comes here, but uh, I don't know, it's pretty bloody massive in my book. And here's a bit more of a bird's eye view. It's pretty wet up here. Woo. Holy shit, I don't think I need to say much more, but this is pretty insane. This is a uh, rainbow, rainbow landing. Rainbow view, rainbow view, I said it wrong, totally wrong. But there's, there's the falls. Here's my foot. And there's the drop. Holy shit. That's what I came to see. <laughs> That's where we've come from. All the way down that river. So here I am at the top of Kaita Falls. It's just me and the waterfall and two uh, two wildlife park wardens and a PhD student from Minnesota who's trying to figure out um, what some species of frog does when it, you call its name. Apparently, um, it's pretty insane. I mean, this place there's just no one and there's no guard railings. It's just you do what the fuck you like and look. I'm just literally sitting right here at the top of Kaida, which over that ledge, it's a 250 meter drop. It's the world's biggest single, single stage falling waterfall. Um, and this is at the end of the wet season, so it's in full flow right now. Um, as you can see, that's where I've just come from, down the river, the Patara River, all the way down there. Uh, it's insane. I don't think I've ever been anywhere like this. This is just absolutely magical. You can see down there the fields of bromeliads. There's one type of frog called the golden frog that only lives there. That only lives there. And we actually saw one at that landing right up up there, right ahead of us. So uh, it's a pretty special place to be. And uh, apparently in the evening all the swifts come in and play in and inside and outside of the waterfall. Um, you know, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I don't think I've been anywhere quite as insane and amazing as this. And to be honest, I don't think much is really going to top this, unless I get to go into space or something. Look at that water just being sprayed back up to the top. I don't want to get too close because I have no idea which way this wind is really blowing. Uh, it seems to be swirling around a lot. Swift's coming in hard to Kaida Falls. Check this out. You see all of them? They're going to do a dive down behind the waterfall in a minute. Here we go. sweet. And here's another huge bunch coming in. There's just literally thousands of them. Look at them all. Whoa! They go so close. They're just circling up and then they'll come down and um, fly in behind the waterfall to roost. Pretty big overhanging drop that I'm sitting on right now. So I've uh, finally found Kaida Falls. It's been seven or eight years since I wanted to go and see this thing, and uh, I mean, it's insane. Absolutely stunning. Super stunning. Um, what's even more better is that I'm just here pretty much with maybe 10 people total around the Kaita National Park this evening been watching Swifts come in this evening and it's been unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I don't know why more people don't come to Guyana, this is just an incredible spot um, and just all of the wildlife and the trekking and the hiking around here is, is incredible. Um, but very glad I made it and finally I can tick this one off my list. Woohoo!